Hey guys, today I'm going to be taking a look at Megatect. This is a early access game on Steam, and it's pretty much a map builder slash build your own whatever multiplayer game. So let's just uh, start it up and I'll show you what I mean. I'm going to just start the tutorial. The tutorial's not that bad. So here is the game. Um, let me go to options real quick and make sure the graphics are up. I should probably turn up the FOV to 90. Um, shadow low. Let's turn that high. Reflections on. Okay. Okay, never mind. That makes it look kind of weird. I'm going to turn reflections off. It's a little bit better. Um, motion blur. Wait, why do I... Why is there an option to turn motion blur high? That's kind of dumb. I've always hated motion blur. But, back to the game. So here's my little character. So WSD to move, mouse to look. Let's go up here. So far the game looks like pretty nice. I mean, it's very uh, good looking. Especially for a Unity game. Um, let's go to play. Little teleporter, space to jump. F to toggle. I really like f f like first person view. Like, I sort of wish the whole game was first first person instead of this third person view, because, I don't know, it looks really weird, third person. But first person looks a lot better. At least to me. Might not be to you. So, you can uh, interact with stuff, you can get guns, and you can hold up the charge, and like, single shot with this gun, or some ammo, don't need it. You respawn here on death, so I got a new gun, so let's uh, shoot this. Oops. Oh wait, never mind. I have to press this lever. There we go. I turn into a plasma turret. Let's go through here. And obviously, I, t I told you guys it's a map editor, but uh, it's a game as well. This is just uh, how you play. So here is the building part, the building tutorial. Let's go over here. Press to have this to build mode. Woo! Build mode! Hooray! What's really cool is even though this is a tutorial, I can glitch out of the map. Oh yeah. So here's the whole map for the tutorial. There's different rooms that teach you how to play. So let's uh, go back down. Oops. Let's go through here. Press space to go up. Control to go down. Blah, blah, blah. Left click to place a block. And then you can rotate and you can pick different things like whatever this is put that there so yeah it's pretty easy to build like a house or whatever you need to build and you can also change the color by doing this clicking the color wheel so I can drag this onto here and then if I place it now it's red sweet I just made a staircase to a block Aren't I amazing? Go up here. Yeah. Enter text. Wait, right click certain blocks. Wait, while in build mode. Oh, I could change the text. Hi, YouTube people. Sweet. What about this text? You suck <laughs> okay anyways let's keep going um this tells you how to change color and all that jazz and i can use the build mode to delete these blocks to go to the next part and then here it's just showing you all the different things you can make jump pads guns show you the different guns there's all sorts of laser beams and crazy stuff so let's keep going don't want to spend too much time in the tutorial, nobody likes the tutorials. So this one, I have to place a button on that little hole. So let's open the build menu. Let's go to wires. Where are wires at? There they are. And here's the button. So let's drag the button over here. i got to put the button... Oops. Okay. Delete that. That's a... Uh, 
I, I could probably just delete the blocks and go through. I think I have to rotate this. The button's facing the wrong way. There we go. Hooray! Press tab to enter build mode. So I need to build some wires to attach this lever to the door. So, um, let's open up this again. Single wire. That's what we're going to use. Okay, I'm just going to make it go this way. And then I'm going to make it go that way. And make it go this way. So, the wires themselves are invisible unless I press V and now I can see the wires. So I think this is like a really cool little feature. Like, sort of like what I thought, what I think would have been cool in Minecraft. It's sort of like Minecraft, like redstone, but these are invisible so you don't even get to see them. Which is pretty nice. So open the door, go through here. Oh! Oh <laughs> uh, my bad. I completely forgot there was supposed to be a lever there. Um. Yeah, so I need to go back to where I was. Where the heck was I? I'll go back to the starting point. I think I was over there, but yeah, I was over here. Just breaking our way through the level. Let's go back here. So here's another invisible bridge. There's cool little features. Here's a hidden door. Which I think is really cool. Um, this just shows you the different wires and how to make certain stuff. Tutorial, tutorial jazz. Go through here. Um, it's showing you more stuff like these blasters and burners and lasers and all sorts of cool stuff. Um, turret spawners. End. Dun dun. Okay, so we're ending this. Let's go to quit. Quit to menu. I would try to join a multiplayer server, but currently the servers are down. It is in early access, so gotta expect some glitches. Let's uh, let's see. Let's go to new grid. See what types of grids there are. Oh, there's different environments. That's cool. This one kind of looks like Minecraft. Let's create grid. Um, create grid. I guess that one's not working. Oh wait, you have to name it. I'll name it one. There we go. Cool. Go back to first person. So I wonder if I could delete these. Nope. So it's kind of weird. Like this map, uh. You would think you could be able to edit the actual level itself, but this one's just a solid level. But I guess I can build stuff. I can build like a little house. Like my fancy house. It's amazing. Yeah. There we go. This is my house. So let's quit this. Quit the menu. So obviously you can tell there's a bunch of different grids where you can build your own levels. So let's check out some levels. Let's go to load grid. We're going to go to public grids. And then we're going to rate them. Let's do favorites. Okay, here's some different levels. Let's go ahead and try this one. Just to see what other people have been making in this game. I don't think very many people have this game yet, so most of this stuff is pretty basic. Here is a uh, city type map. Gardens of Norelli. Mm, there's some trees. I think this one is just all aesthetics. Here is uh, some little text. The simpo one large tree, one trunk above the ground. A bunch of background information. Just fly through here. A cafe up here. So, I mean, when multiplayer is out, I'm sure something like this might be fun for like a bunch of people to just talk and chill out. Might be a fun, just like chill, chill game to play with your friends and hang out. So, let's go to a different level, go to menu. 
Let's load another grid. Let's go to public grids. Favorites. Pyramid. Deathmatch. Midtown Airport. Let's check out the airport. So it's downloading the grid right now. And it's playing. So the grids don't take very long to uh, download. Usually they only take a few seconds or so. Uh oh. This one is really laggy for some reason. Whoa. So I'm only getting like 6 FPS. Probably because this map is freaking huge. Who the heck would make this? This is pretty amazing, I have to say. It's laggy as all hell, but it's pretty cool. I don't I'm pretty sure you can't fly. But let me go check out this uh airliner over here. I just want to go in and see what's inside. What do you think this can I'm wondering if these can actually move. I don't think so. <laughs> It'd be really neat though if these uh planes can move. It's a really nice plane. So I'm sure people could uh, do a lot of role playing on this game. Let's go ahead and quit out of this. Quit to menu. I'll probably take a look at one or two more and then I'll call it a wrap to this video. Cancel, load grid, public grids. There it is. Wooden ship. Disco Inferno. That sounds cool. I'm getting really low FPS for some reason. Might be some sort of memory leak, or maybe the, just the effects are just too crazy. Keep staying alive. Disco Inferno. I think there's just too many effects going on at once on these levels. My uh, graphics card can't handle all this. Oh my god, he spawned insane amount of stuff. It's pretty cool for like a little dance video. Okay, exiting out of this. Quit. Quit the menu. I'm always afraid in indie games that when I click quit it'll cancel out of the whole game. Um, load grid. Public grids. Favorites. Hmm, what should the last one be? Animated Bridge. Super Carrier. Let's do Super Carrier, that sounds pretty cool. Alright, this is Super Carrier. What in the world? Anchor. What does that say? Wind... Windlass? Let's go ahead and fly. Oh, it's water. That's cool. Oh, wow. This looks really cool. This is neat. I'm sure people who, like, enjoy building things would really like this game. Because, like, graphically it looks really nice. Especially compared to other games like Minecraft and other builder type games. This would be... This looks, like, really cool just for building stuff. It reminds me a lot of Forge from Halo, if anyone's ever played Halo, um, where you just go in and out of build mode and then playing normally. It's still in early access, so I'm sure it'll get even better as it goes along. I could imagine that if you had like a full team of like like five or five ten players, like five v five, playing deathmatch, this would actually be pretty fun. So yeah. That's going to conclude my video here. Again, this game is called Megatect. Um, I'll leave a link in the description below if you like this video. Be sure to check it out on Steam, and have a nice day.